Hi guys, today I'm going to teach you about the three moments diagram and there's four parts to it. I'm going to teach you the first part. Okay, so this is the free body diagram. Please take a few seconds to look. Alright, so how are we going to do about it, right? First, we have to find a span ABC and a span BCD. These are the steps. We have to find an M MB and MC, find the resultant forces. Draw the shear force diagram and draw a bending moment diagram. For today, I'm going to teach you the first step, which is finding MB and MC. So for span ABC, this is the formula, all right? And we have to take the left hand side first, the LHS, which is MALA plus 2MB bracket LA plus LB close bracket plus MCLB. So we sub in the formulas. Okay, so the value, there's a zero over here because we are taking the moment at A, so it's zero. For LA and LB, it's 12 and 8 because LA is the length from A to B and LB is the length from B to C. So you get the answer 40 MB plus AMC. Right, next, we have to look at the right hand side. So let me explain why there's a BA1 and a BA2 here. Take a look over here. As you can see, there's one uniform load and one concentrated load. So, we have to divide the force into two forces, which is BA1 and BA2. Whereas, there's only one concentrated force at the span BC. Alright? So, for uniform load, you sub in the formula QA square over 24 LEI, open bracket, 2 L square minus A square, close bracket. And for... The second BA, you can sum in the formula for the concentrated load. But do take note that there's two formulas for each uniform and concentrated load. So be careful when you look at it. Make sure you know where the force is acting at. Okay, so we, have, we can cancel off the things you don't need. And then you sum in the values. And you'll get the answer of negative 1414.08. And that's the equation 1. Next, we can do the span BCD. You have to apply the same formula again. But this time, do take note that the alphabets has changed. Same. Left hand side. But for now, since it's... Uh, since we are taking the span BCD, the moment will be at B, so there will be a zero over here, alright? So do take note. The answer is AMB plus 36MC. For the right hand side, because there's no uniform load and there's only one concentrated load on each of the span, there's only two formulas needed. And you can sub in the values and you'll get the answer negative 626.85. So this is the second equation. So you got equation 1 and equation 2. Simultaneous equation, you can find MB and MC. Thank you.